Okay, today we're going to draw a 3D model in Adobe Illustrator. To get started, I've already made uh, my label that we're going to map onto the 3D bottle that we make. But getting started, you should use your pen tool. And with the pen tool, you can click point to point to make straight lines, or click and drag to make curved lines. Every time I want a straight line, I click point to point. Every time I want a curved line, I click and drag. Okay, so there is half my bottle. If there are any features of my bottle that don't come out the way I like, I can either use direct select to adjust the points for now, or I can wait until I do the 3D Revolve to do this. Okay. I'm going to go to Effects menu, 3D, and Revolve. Because I've drawn my half a bottle on the left with a guideline in the middle so that I know exactly where the middle of my artboard was, if I just click preview without changing the edge of the rotation from left to right, we're going to get a really boring looking cylinder. If I choose right edge, I get something that looks more like a bottle. So it'll depend on whether you decide to draw your half a bottle on the left or on the right. Once you're done, you can click OK. Next, I have to convert my label to a symbol. I'm going to select the whole label, and I'm going to make sure that none of the layers or sublayers are locked. Everything looks good. OK, if there's anything locked when I go to drag it into the symbols panel, it's not going to work. So with everything selected on my label, I will drag to the symbols panel until I see a little green circle with a plus sign pop up. I will give my label a name and simply call it label. As far as export type goes, I have to change that to graphic and click OK. So going back into my bottle, I want to apply the label onto the bottle. I can't really do that. until I see my appearance panel. Um, I have to use something called map art to put the label onto the bottle. I could go back to effect and choose revolve, but then Illustrator would ask me, do I want to apply another instance of the 3D revolve? And I really don't. So the trick to doing that is to open up appearance panel. If you don't see it in your collection of panels, you can always go to window menu and go to appearance and it'll pop up that way. Click on 3D Revolve from Appearance Panel. You can click on Preview so you can see what you're doing. And the button we want is Map Art. Once you select Map Art, you'll see that you have a choice for symbols that you can map. And uh, this window will show you all the different surfaces that you can map a symbol onto. We need to click through them. It'll highlight it over here in red wire mesh. That is the panel that we want. So from the symbol menu, we're going to select label and drag the label into place. Sometimes I'll squish the label a little if I think that will make it look more believable. I also 
we'll choose shade artwork to make it look a little bit more realistic. And what we're seeing over here where the label doesn't extend all the way over to this side, I may need to go out of this and go back into my little 3D panel and just sort of play with the rotation and see if I can get that to go away. So I'm going to click OK and leave the label mapped onto there. Play with the rotation here and see if I can get that to kind of even itself out. If I think that's done it, I can go back into map art and it looks like it has. I can adjust my label until it's centered in the middle and click OK. Click OK again. And there you go, 3D bottle with a label applied using map.